So we are live on Facebook right now. Um, hey everybody. Hi, Daria. It's great to have you back again. And it's awesome that, uh, that, you've been, that you've been still doing music and keeping up with it all. Super awesome. Because, and, I don't know. <laughs> it's, like, it's been difficult to maneuver. I know that your recent music video, I think, addresses some of like, what's going on right now. Um, the song Thinking About You. Yeah, I mean, we shot Thinking About You, we shot the music video in November. Oh, okay. I was going to ask you because it has sort of like isolation vibes to it. Um, and I was like, when did they shoot this? Because my relationship with New York started a very long time ago when I first, uh, when I first visited when I was like 12. And ever since I dreamt to live in New York City. and yeah like over 10 years ago i finally made the move and uh it was my long-standing dream to shoot a music video with new york city as the backdrop and thinking about you finally gave me that opportunity because it's kind of like about i don't know how it is like what it's like for you brent but i feel like new york city either makes you or breaks you and that goes for everything like career relationships I think New York poses a lot of challenges uh, for, you know, your profession, relationships, for sure, very difficult. So, yeah, like thinking about you is about that relationship where uh, you kind of know that you're wrong for each other, but you're still trying and you keep trying and you keep trying and still hoping for the best. And I feel like in New York, it's kind of like conducive to that kind of problem because there's so many amazing people and so many amazing things to do so it's sometimes difficult to make a choice i guess and difficult really? to decide what you want and uh yeah so that kind of like went hand in hand with the storyline of the song and new york city and yeah we shot it in november i had no clue that three months two months later the city will be shut down you definitely got in at the at the right time in regards to shooting a video, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I feel like, yeah, I feel like thinking about you, the music video is kind of like a love letter almost to New York City. And I can't wait for the city to open back up. And I can't wait to see the energy that the people I know will bring. What have you been up to recently? I'm guessing just self-isolating or... Yeah, uh, self-isolating with my little family, with my hubby and my little baby boy. I know, congrats. You had a, you had a kid since the last time that we hung out. Last time I was on pop test, I was two months pregnant. You didn't even wow. know. Wow, I did not know. <laughs> did you know? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. And you kept that a secret? Yeah, you know, like, hey, by the way, everyone. <laughs> little that could have been our big pop test exclusive. <laughs> right. Damn it. Before that, I had help, and now there's no help. So it's been interesting to navigate the whole practicing the piano and making sure he's entertained. So to all of the working parents out there, so much respect right now. I mean, wow. Because one of the things that I know from television and movies is yeah. that it, you never want to wake those babies up. Once they get to sleep, so how do you? So how do you how do you work on music? Do you do you have like a a soundproof area, or you don't care? I don't know. My piano is standing right here in our living room, and when he's sleeping, I just can't practice. I mean, I can put it on the damper, but I can't sing with my mic on and everything. So I usually send out my husband and baby out for a walk with a stroller. <laughs> So I can practice or do an interview or, yeah, because right now if he was here, he'd be dragging me off, off the piano, off the mic. And that's just the reality of it. Kids need attention. That's pretty cute though. Um, <laughs> it is. It is. I'm hoping that him seeing me at the piano once in a while, it's, it's actually going to inspire him to do music and be creative himself one day. And speaking about like a uh, piano, is that the thinking about you? Did it start on piano? Because it's a very like upbeat, poppy, you know, dance to a track. Alvin and I, Alan Anthony, who I co-wrote the song with, he uh, played the chords on the guitar. 
Okay. So with the chords, we started playing quick beats here and there, and then we both co-wrote it in like two hours. Mm -hmm. and, you know, you, you sometimes have a project and you put it on the back burner. So like a year later, uh, this amazing production team from Colombia reached out to me via Instagram. I love Instagram. Instagram is like the best way to make new connections and contacts and collaborations. It's amazing. It's amazing how much work I've been able to do through that. But um, they found me, they did the production. So what you hear now as the fully finished version is the boys from Colombia. And how would you describe the sound and your sound in general to those that are maybe not familiar? I started with pure EDM because when I first started doing music, I really wanted to just create something that people want to dance to in a club because uh, I love dancing in a club. And then that kind of slowly transitioned into more of a poppy dance that then transitioned into more of an indie pop. Um, so this particular song is definitely like a EDM pop house mix, which is perfect for the summer coming up. So I'm really happy that we released it. Just yeah. like, I want to create something that can live at the piano as well as become a remix that, uh, you know, so it becomes timeless. I realized long time ago that the songs that I love most to listen to and to play are those that you can play the piano. When you had visited Pop This, it, you performed live and it was all on piano and it was really beautiful. So it's interesting to hear the two different versions. Don't we all love that? Like listening to the original and then like a really cool stripped down cover. I mean, sometimes those covers are even better than the original. Yeah, it's a matter <laughs> of like preference and stuff. So I believe you have another song coming out soon. Yes, um, Surrender. That's already fully produced and finished. The only thing I'm kind of like trying to decide right now is like, should I or should I not? Maybe you can help me, Brent. Should I or should I not? <laughs> Do a music video using just my iPhone, you know, because we can't go out <laughs> and I can't invite a production team over here. Or should I wait and just release the song? And Glad you came to me. You came to the right place <laughs> because I can tell you definitively, definitely make the video with your phone. It'll be very intimate. It'll be very cool. Strip down. Nothing, you know. Audiences want to see some authentic moments and people that are big fans of yours or really uh, like you or follow you on social media to see something made on a phone. Plus, good press angle, you know? Right? You get to tell everybody, yeah. you tell everybody, wow, she made this on her phone. And sure. yeah. I mean, because if you wait until after, what's, what's the story going to be? It's going to be, here's a video. I almost did something cool and brave and vulnerable, <laughs> but I decided not to. Here you go. Here's the video. <laughs> I, I, if it sucks. <laughs> yeah, and if it sucks. Yeah, you can, I was going to say on, on your phone, but, but sure. Blame it on me. I will take that. You can be like, this was, be like, sorry, everybody. I listened to this stupid talk show host. <laughs> this guy from this website. What about you? I heard you were doing some, some live stream uh, performance stuff. Yes, I'm due to do another one. I want to do another one. It's really fun, actually. It's so much fun to interact with people live and, yeah, uh, bridges the gap from you know, being at home and not being able to perform, for sure. It's nice to be in touch with people and just get some feedback. And you get to do it from home. Yeah, yeah no, this is actually why I'm doing these interviews. It's just I desperately need to talk to other people. <laughs> yeah. Listen, I did a puzzle for the first time in my life. What, kind of, what was the puzzle of? Jungle theme. Yeah. And did your son help at all with that? Um, no. How old, how old is he exactly? I mean, this is hard to place. It seems like it was so recent. Uh, he is now, like in September, he'll be two. Wow, time flies. So the, uh, the next one that comes out is this part of an EP or something? Or are you just kind of putting out singles? I'm trying to put out singles for now. Um, I'm still also like experimenting with different producers right now, different co-writers. Um, so, 
I think the EP that I have in mind is going to be more of a down tempo, stripped down versions. Yeah. yeah. And how are you going to record it? I have a bit of a recording set up at home. So Sweet. I can do that. Um, I'm also hoping that this will not last too long. That I can meet up with my producers again. It's weird right now in New York, though. It's so empty. Seeing pictures, videos, it's insane. Like, I've never, I don't know, for some reason, you never think that something like this will happen in your lifetime, you know? It's kind of like, what? <laughs> yeah, it's, um, it's, it's pretty wild, but um, hopefully there's some positives that come out of it in, in some way. Well, yeah, I mean, anything else that you want people to know or... Uh, well, like, uh, I would love for, like, if, if you guys would uh, check out my new single, Thinking About You, I'd be really grateful. Hi. Um, yeah, it's all over my uh, page. Uh, and also head on to my website, dariusmusic.com. Uh, all my stuff is there, all my previous work. Uh, that would be amazing. I think, you know, and what people should know is that it's Daria, but spelled with a J. Yeah. I always want to say Darja, which I think is cool. That sounds cool, but I know it's Daria, yeah. J instead of an I. Which when you think about it, a J is sort of like an I that just keeps, that droops down and, right. and loops. Exactly. Well, I'm talking nonsense, which, which means it's probably time to wrap this up. To everybody here, um, definitely check out the video, thinking about you, looking forward to the next song, looking forward to seeing your self-produced music video shot via iPhone <laughs> or whatever device you use. You should get, you know what, actually get a phone company to, to sponsor you, you know what I mean? Like, like maybe you're an iPhone user, but, but you can get like Android or something, you know. Get some sponsorship money. Be like, this was all shot on my Galaxy S, SJ, my Daria, my Dar Darja S, <laughs> my Galaxy Daria. Uh, Daria S. Yeah. Just land, land some sponsorships, you know? No, I, I think I should do that. That's a good idea. <laughs> oh. Thank you so much for joining me again.